guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my go-to makeup look. So if you guys want to see this video, then please keep on watching. But before I start, if you're new here, hi, my name is Joy. I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle related videos. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell so you are notified for all of my uploads. So let's go ahead and move on with my video. All right, so first things first, my skin is already prepped and primed using all of my daily skincare. So the first thing I'm gonna use is my face primer. Currently I'm using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer SPF 15. I just love this primer because it definitely helps to smooth out any imperfections in my skin, including pores, redness, and it also helps to prolong the wear of my makeup. So I just apply it all over, especially in the T-zone area where I'm most oily. Okay, so the next thing I do is apply my foundation. Currently I'm using Giorgio Armani's Power Fabric Foundation. This foundation is definitely one of my go-to foundations these days. I love the coverage that it gives to my skin. It's more of a medium to a full coverage buildable, yet it still looks like skin. And I love the fact that it offers SPF 15. So I'm using my Beauty Blender to apply this all over. So that way my skin is nice and even. All right, so the next thing I do is I use my Bobbi Brown Corrector to conceal any darkness underneath my eyes. I just love this product because it definitely gives my under eyes the brightness that it needs. Meanwhile, it's covering any dark circles and imperfections underneath my eyes. I love the consistency of it. I love the creaminess of it. And I just blend it out with my Beauty Blender. All right, so the next thing I do is apply a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes over top my corrector and the concealer that I'm currently using is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I use it in the color medium too, which I wanna say it's the color ginger. So basically I just apply it right underneath my eyes. I kind of create like a little swoop. And again, I blend it out with my Beauty Blender. All right, so the next thing I do is set my makeup with my powder, and the current powder that I'm using is Bobbi Brown's Sheer Finish Press Powder in the color Warm Natural. So I'm just gonna take my powder brush and just apply the powder all over my face just to set everything. I just love this powder just because it's a sheer pressed, yet it does give just a little bit of coverage to the skin, and it really just kind of gives more of a flawless kind of finish. Okay, so the next thing I do is apply bronzer to my skin, just so that way I have a little bit of color and it gives a little bit of definition. So the current bronzer I'm using is by Bobbi Brown, and it's her bronzing powder in the color Natural. So I'm gonna take it on my little brush here and apply it kind of like a contour, like on the sides of my, my cheeks towards the hairline. I do like this bronzer a lot just because the color is kind of like a reddish brown, so it does give off more of a natural hue, personally. And I do apply it on my jawline and also the temples of my face and back to my cheeks. All right, I will take a little bit of this bronzer and kind of cinch my brush and contour the sides of my nose as well. All right, so the next thing I do is I actually bake 
my bronzer and my contour so that way it does look a little bit more crisp and clean so the current powder i'm using for baking is bobby brown retouching powder in the color peach now i believe this product is no longer available i want to say it has been discontinued but it was in my collection and i wanted to make sure i used it up before i went ahead and tried something different but i do love this powder a lot just because it's more of a color correcting type of powder so it does also help with like setting your under eyes and it's just one of my go-tos and I love it. So I just take my beauty blender and I create kind of a line like so. Just so that way it's a nice and crisp. I do do the sides of my nose and then also on this side as well. So there you have it. All right, so I did do my eyebrows off camera just because I will be filming an updated brow routine. So if you guys wanna see that, definitely come back and stay tuned for it. But I will list all the products that I use for my brows down below in the info bar, so definitely check that out. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is apply my blush. Currently, I'm using Chanel Powder Blush in the color 80 Jersey. This blush is my absolute go-to. I wear this blush every single day. It's just a really natural looking blush and I'm just gonna apply it to the apples in my cheeks and bring it up to the hairline. I honestly get compliments on this blush every time I wear it, which is pretty much every single day. So like I said, it's just a really, really soft, fun, everyday color and I just absolutely love it. And then as of lately, I've been using this blush over top my Chanel blush. And basically it's Tarte's Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Party. This blush was actually in my birthday um, little kit that I got from Sephora. And I just apply it to the apples of the cheeks and this just gives it more of like a pinky, kind of more of a natural kind of pink tone to my cheeks. And of course, I'm just gonna brush out all of the powder so that way I can clean it all up. I did put a little bit of powder on my beauty blender and I'm just gonna use it to kind of set my under eye concealer really quick. I don't necessarily bake underneath my eyes just because I don't want it to look um, too harsh and powdery. So I do it kind of after I bake, and then I brush off the excess right away. All right, so the next thing I do is apply my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight. So I'm not really much of a highlight person, but I will add just a little bit on my cheeks to give them a natural glow. So I'm gonna take the darker color of the palette, and I'm just gonna apply just a little bit, I mean, this is a tinsy bit on the cheekbone area, kind of towards my hairline. And then using my fingers, I'm just gonna take the highlight part and just apply very, very little to the cheeks. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do are my eyes. I like to keep my eyes pretty simple. I don't do anything too harsh or too crazy. I may define the outer crease just a little bit, but the first eyeshadow I'm gonna use is Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in the color Ivory. I have been using this eyeshadow for the longest time. I just love it because it's a good neutral base color that you can use as a highlight and also as an all over shade. So I'm just gonna take it all over. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is apply a little bit of a transitional color on my crease. And the color I'm gonna use is Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in the color Taupe. It's kind of like a soft brown, but it's more of a taupey brown rather than a reddish brown. So I'm gonna take it on my MAC 224 brush and just apply this color on the outer corner and over um, on the crease as well. Really focusing that color on the outer corner and then bringing my brush over as I'm depositing more color on the outer crease. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do for my eyes is apply a lid color. So the color I'm gonna use is from the Charlotte Tilbury The Golden Goddess Eyeshadow Palette in the color Smoke. 
So this color is almost kind of like a bronzy brown color, which is super, super opaque and very, very pigmented. So I'm just gonna take it on a little brush and just apply it on the lid of my eye. Just back and forth, just to deposit that color throughout. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do with my eyes is apply just an outer corner definition color just to make them a little bit darker and more defined. So the eyeshadow I'm gonna use is by Bobbi Brown Eyeshadow in the color Mahogany. And Mahogany is definitely more of a rich brown and I'm gonna take it on my MAC 217 brush, which is definitely an OG. So I'm just gonna pop this color on the outer crease just ever so lightly like so, not putting any pressure on my brush and just really kind of focusing on that outer corner and bringing the color over. All right, so going back to the Charlotte Tilbury, the Golden Goddess palette, I'm gonna go in and use Enhance, which is this color right here. And I'm basically going to apply that kind of in the center of my eye like so just so that way it looks kind of reflective or it just kind of brightens the eye if you will I don't know I've just been doing this lately and I like the way it looks so and then going back with the Charlotte Tilbury palette I'm gonna go in with this color and then pop that in the center of my eye just to kind of give a little bit of a sheen And I'm just using my fingertips, guys, just because it's almost like a like a sparkle pigment. So this is best applied with the tip of your fingers. And lastly for the eyes, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Eyeshadow Palette in the color Prime. And we're just going to apply that on the brow bone of my eyes just to give them a nice um, highlight look. Just ever so lightly. Okay, so before I apply my eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes using my Shiomura Lash Curler. I just love this lash curler just because it does really curl my lashes and my lashes are super thin and super short. So, Alright, so using my Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner in the color Black Ink, this is my go-to eyeliner. I've been using this for years and years and years. And I'm going to apply it with the Bobbi Brown Ultra Fine Liner Brush. I'm going to go ahead and do my traditional wing liner, especially with this look. Usually, if I'm not really wearing this much eyeshadow, I'll just wear mascara and I'm good to go. But for today, I'm going to use my liner. We're going to go ahead and wing out this liner. All right, so before I apply my false lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and apply just one coat of mascara on my top and bottom lashes, and I'm using Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I love this mascara. I've been using it for probably a week now, and it's definitely my go-to. So I'm just gonna apply one coat of this. All right, so just make sure your lash glue is at least super tacky. So wait about 10 to 20 to maybe 30 seconds before adhering it to your eyes. So it's been 30 seconds, I'm just gonna apply it. And for those of you that are wondering, I'm using the Ardell 110s. All right, so for lipstick, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in the color Statement Nude. And then we're also gonna use a lip liner, which is Max Whirl Lip Liner. So we're just gonna go in there and line my lips. All right, and then top that with my lipstick. I just love the way this feels, and also it's a long wear, so it lasts like all day. All right guys, that completes my video. I hope you guys enjoyed my go-to makeup look, and if you did enjoy, please give this video a thumbs up, and of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.